Hello, my crafty friends. It's Jelly Bean again. And today, I am here to share with you some surprise mail that I got. And it amazes me sometimes how the post office can do things good one time, yet really mess up another. Let me unplug this here. Sorry, y'all. I had my phone charging there for a minute before I started videoing it, and I forgot to take the cord down, so it won't be in the way. But anyway, you know, I got this box here from Marilyn Smith, who is Sweetwater Cards. And if y'all don't know her, I will link her channel below, and I will also put a little tiny eye up here that you can click on and go to one of her videos, her channel. But, she sent me this um, medium box here, and it amazes me because this sticker is so pretty. And I love the little envelope that's on here, but it's just barely hanging on. It was like this when I got it. And it got here all the way across the United States, and the little sticker's still on there. Yet, I can put some things on there, tape it down, completely cover it with tape, and it'll still get ripped off. It's crazy. But anyway, I don't know exactly what this is. I know Miss Marilyn asked me for my address, so I gave it to her, but I was expecting maybe a card. <laughs> so I have no idea what this is. Whoa. <gasps> oh, she knows I like flowers. Yes, she does. Let me just move that box right out the way. Wow. Look at these flowers, y'all. I hadn't even seen any like this. These are the crepe paper flowers. Look at those. These are gorgeous. You know, I bought some crepe paper to try to make flowers out of, and I'm kind of working on it, but I haven't got them down good enough like this to actually show y'all these are gorgeous oh i just want to open them play with them but i also don't want to <laughs> make a big mess oh these are so pretty can y'all see them look how pretty those are thank you and i love these i think somebody else sent me a pack of these and i about used them all so i'm glad i got some more because i was saving like the last three because I didn't want to use all of them. So now I got some more. Yay. But um I took some and I and I they they turn different colors when you spray them with shimmer mist. They're the his and hers which is hobby lobby and I sprayed some with a pearl um like iridescent spritz um shimmer mist. And they turned a lighter pink. And then I took some and sprayed it with like a rose color. And they turned a deep, dark, hot pink. And I was like, whoa, this is cool. But I really like these. Oh, and these are the little birdie flowers that I like. And there's a beautiful rose in there. Did you make that, Marilyn? Oh, I don't want to. Look at this rose. Wow. This is a mulberry flower, y'all. I don't know if she made that, but it is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Can y'all see? See? It's dark again, so my light is not that good. Ooh, the paper studio. I hadn't seen any flowers like this. Wow, those are pretty. These are mulberry flowers, too. I love mulberry flowers. Because you can spritz them with shimmer, you can put stickles on them, and they still hold their shape. The wetness of any kind of, you know, stuff you put on them doesn't affect the shape of the flowers. And she has got everything wrapped up so pretty. Oh, ooh, pillow boxes. Craft pillow boxes. Ooh, these are nice. I like these. Thank you. I needed some this size too for something I'm sending out actually. Cool. 
And let's see what this pretty pink package is. I just love all these spring pastel colors. Uh-oh, I didn't bring any scissors. Let me get my scissors. I don't want to mess everything up. I'm actually filming in another different spot today. And I know it's kind of hard for y'all to tell because I just moved my little background paper uh, fabric around with me. So it looks like the same spot to y'all, but I'm actually in my kitchen because I am putting together a box and it's kind of spread out where I'm wrapping it. So I didn't want to have to put all that up to make the video and I'm not very good at waiting to open packages y'all I notice some people can sit there and hold it for a week or two or you know keep it for a while before they open it I can't do that <gasps> look at this gorgeous card she made oh I love this she makes the prettiest card y'all and you know Marilyn, you are a big inspiration for me when I make cards. Sometimes if I'm kind of stuck and don't know what to do, I go watch one of your videos and I'm good to go. Look at this. She's got some beautiful paper here that she's tattered or distressed the edges. And it's like two layers on top of the card base. She's added some Venice lace, gorgeous lace. And then she's got this scroll frame that she's put there with a vintage picture and a frame on top of that. She's added a couple of pearls. Y'all excuse my nails. My nails are awful, but I haven't been anywhere to get my nails done, so they look terrible. <laughs> but anyway, back to this gorgeousness. This will way overdo my nails. Maybe y'all won't even notice them, but... <laughs> She's got some gorgeous flat back pearls and these flowers. Oh, wow. This flower here is a mulberry flower that's glittered to high heaven. I don't know if it's stickles or what, but let's see if y'all can see some of the glitter on there. Yeah. Well, we can see it here. I don't know if in the actual video you'll be able to see it, but it is gorgeous. And then we got this mulberry paper our mulberry flower here in purple and here's another shade of purple i love these little flowers here and i love the way you put the little squigglies and i have been trying to make some peace lilies to put in my little flower arrangements but i haven't quite mastered that yet but now that i have one in my hand i might be able to do that thank you look how gorgeous this is oh she's got a note in here wait a minute Oh, that's so sweet, Marilyn. Thank you. Wow, you're a big inspiration to me. A, a big one. I go and watch your videos on your cards a lot. I know I get behind on watching videos, and sometimes I take a weekend to catch up, but I eventually catch up, but I'm not always good about leaving comments, but I'm watching. <laughs> But this is gorgeous. Thank you. I can't wait to get my thing up that I got um, when they were taking the card display down that I'm going to put my cards in. I'm going to put it together and show y'all. It is so cool. And it holds cards where you can see them. And that's what I want to do with it. Let's see what this is. I don't think I have any pretty, like pastel yellow like this i love this i've got yellow but it's like the goldenrod yellow mm. let's see what this is ah don't tear don't tear oh, it's purple <gasps> and it's stamperia no way really Holy macaroni, y'all. I have never had Stamperia paper before. Um, I think somebody sent me some cut aparts that were actually Stamperia, but uh, I haven't actually had the actual paper. Um, 
And this is purple. I'm going to be able to use this in my junk journal. I still haven't started putting my junk journal together. I know a couple people's asked me, you know, let us see your junk journal. But right now, between doing homeschool and helping my little lady next door, I haven't had a lot of time. So the only thing I've really been doing is just the little elements, like little envelopes and little notepads and stuff to stick in it. I haven't really put anything together yet as far as pages or signatures or anything. So, but when I do, I'm going to show y'all, I promise. But this is going to be perfect. Wow. Oh, Marilyn, this is super awesome. And it's, oh, I love the script. I don't know if y'all have seen this or not, but I haven't. So, please bear with me. Oh, look how it's double-sided. It's got a little envelope. Oh, that is so cool. Look, that side one and side two. Wow. And this is very nice quality paper, too, y'all. More of the script. Ooh, look at this pattern. It's like a Victorian pattern. Oh, I love this. Look at the tags. I'm going to be able to use those in my journal, too, y'all. And polka dots. I like polka dots. My grandma used to like polka dots. Oh, this is so pretty. This is exactly what I'm doing my journal in. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's like my favorite page so far. And this is the colors that I'm doing my junk journal in. I'm doing, of course, the tea stain papers, but I'm using the lavender with the green. So this is going to be perfect. Wow, this is gorgeous. I love this. Look at the wood. Oh, I love this. I love the little roses. Wow, this is some of the prettiest paper I've seen. Now, I'm Prima through and through, but this is a... Uh, wow, this is neck and neck with Prima, y'all. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Oh, thank you so much. You know I'm going to... These are going to be my master copies. <laughs> oh, and she made me some policy envelopes. That is so cool. That is super cool. Thank you. We can always, always use policy envelopes. And look at these really pretty patterns she chose. I love the macaroons. And the pink. Oh, this is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I know why you sent this, but this was way too much for, for what you sent it for. <laughs> this is awesome, though. I am very grateful to you. Thank you so much, Marilyn. That was so sweet of you, but you really didn't have to do that. Like I told you, the reason I did that was because I wanted to. But this is super awesome. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's purple, don't care. I can use this in my journal too. More paper. More purple paper. Oh my goodness, hang on now. I'm gonna get too excited. I'm glad mine don't freeze when I get excited. We'd have a bunch of frozen videos, wouldn't we? We got to fix that, Alicia. I don't know how yet, but I'm, I'm looking into it. I like to see her get excited, but she freezes it. So, wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, wow. This is the 12 by 12s. Lilac flowers, Stamperia. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. You see this, Donna? <laughs> Me and Donna and I were talking about um, Prima paper today, and this is really close, really, really close, but. While I'm opening this, I'll tell y'all, I started a video um, showing some simple 
charms, Alicia had asked me to show her a few things with making charms. And I started it, but I was having a really, really bad back day. And I stopped it to go rest. And when I come back and was watching it back a little bit, I was like, there is no way I'm going to put that on there because I sounded horrible. But I am redoing it, and I hope to have it up soon. Alicia, I haven't forgot about you, hon. I'm sorry. But um, let's look at some of this gorgeous purple lavender paper. Wow. It's like a book. This is so cool. I didn't know they put it in a book. <gasps> Butterflies. Oh, my goodness. Marilyn has definitely been watching my channel because she knows <laughs> exactly what I like. Purple script, butterflies, and flowers. Wow, this is super... Oh, I love that. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I hope the color picks up better in the replay than it is right now because it's really dark showing on my screen when I look in there, but it's really a real light lavender. It is gorgeous, y'all. Y'all probably seen it. Look at this, and it's got envelopes, and bookmarks, and journaling cards. Oh, I'm gonna be able to use all of this in my journal. Oh my goodness, look how gorgeous this is. Master copies. <laughs> That's pretty too. And look at this. Oh, I love this. I hadn't seen any of this like this. I cannot believe I didn't know about this. Look at this page. Wow. It's got the lavender and butterflies and the script. And it's a real light gray with purple hues in it. And the drops. And that's the butterfly page. Oh, I love this. Wouldn't that make a pretty cover? Ooh, I'm thinking. I wish I could zoom out some. This under-the-counter thing doesn't work too well because I can't put my camera up high enough. But isn't this gorgeous? This is some of the prettiest paper I've ever seen. Of course, it's purple, so that kind of, you know, sways my opinion a lot. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you so much, Marilyn. That was so sweet of you. You really didn't have to do this, but... I'm glad you did, because <laughs> this is super awesome. Thank you so much, and y'all check out her gorgeous card that she made, and if y'all have not seen Marilyn's channel, y'all can click down below or go up to the little circle in the corner, and I will have her channel there. Y'all go check out some of the gorgeous cards she makes. She makes some of the prettiest shabby chic cards you have ever seen. If you like shabby chic, like I do, you need to go see Marilyn's channel too if you haven't already done so. Thank you, Marilyn, again, and thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a crafty day, and I'll see you real soon. I'm working on another one, I promise. <laughs> Bye for now.